what is five hundred dollars if you can spend over two thousand dollars at the club? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just feel like you know us black people need to really value enjoyment. Okay, just a bit of a sprinkle in there is that if in that group, right? You have some people that are close to each other. They might talk about everything on the trip somewhere else and not even tell you. You that's organizing the trip. Like, but maybe that's just my group of friends. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel, Quarter Minutes with Machine. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about what it really be like planning a group trip, okay? With black people, okay? I can only talk about my folks because, like I said, those are the only people I have been involved when it came to planning a trip. I recently, I'm talking about yesterday, I came back from my birthday trip. Your girl turned 25, okay? So we went to New Orleans, but y'all, planning this trip was so stressful that I was this close to just canceling everything the day before, okay? So let's talk about it. I know a couple of you guys that were on this trip will probably see this and feel like I'm attacking you guys. But y'all, don't take it personal. I understand. Like, it happens to literally everybody. Uh, also, I know that some people that were invited to this trip are going to watch this video and feel like I'm attacking them. No. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. That helps me a lot. Turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. People that follow me on they already know a bit about what happened that's why i want you guys to follow me so you guys can know it before it gets here on youtube okay so yeah you guys let's get started so number one on the list is the planning stage okay when it comes down to planning i got my notes here as well because i want to make sure i'm hitting all the points okay so the first thing is the planning stage okay this trip we started between 12 to 15 people right Mind you, when I brought up the idea, a whole bunch of people jumped. Yes, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Then, the numbers started going down. Excuses started coming in. Oh, I got this thing to do. Oh, because I wanted the trip to be from a, from Thursday to, like, Monday. You know, my birthday was Sunday, March 6th. So, I wanted from Thursday to that Monday, March 7th, right? But I was still okay with people coming Friday and leaving it on my birthday, which was Sunday, you know? People started giving me excuses. Numbers started dropping. And we ended up being about eight okay so another thing i want to talk about when it comes down to planning a group trip with black people is people not pitching in when it comes to looking for places and doing all those type of things at the planning stage i was like let's all look for homes you know that we all like and let's share it in the group so we can pick our favorite home and you know know how much it's gonna be so tell me why it was only four of us that looked for homes and shared it on the group everybody else crickets not say anything. And at that point, I was like, are you guys serious? It was, like I said, the same four. My sister, me, my husband, and my cousin. Four of us. We were the only four trying to find places, interacting in the group. And we'll be like, is this okay for everybody? You don't hear anything. Then, when we find the one that we like, because it was only four of us really, like, interacting... We found our favorite one, then we divided the price and realized that it was going to be $500 each. That's when everybody started complaining about the budget, which is my next point. So the second thing on the list is budget, right? So at this point, it was about eight of us, right? So we're looking for a very modern home that looked like more like a resort, you know? We didn't want just a regular house. So we started looking. We wanted a house with a pool as well. We started looking, and next, you know, people are complaining about $500 a person for all those days was too much. And I'm like, wow, you guys can go ahead and book a hotel and we just meet together when it's time to like go out, do activities and stuff like that. People started complaining it's too much, the budget, on top of that we have to worry about food, we have to worry about this, that. I'm like, this is ridiculous, right? At this point, we dropped down to six. Two people left, right? It was a couple. They both left. They said it was a lot. Having to pay um, $500 each, that was going to be a 1000 Mind you, these are people that... I'm not trying to put all my friends' business out there, but these are people that do not suffer, okay? And I understand people manage their money the way they want, but, you know, you're not financially struggling, so why can't you do it? Like, why? And these are the same people, the same people, okay, that are ready to go spend 1000 to $2,000 at clubs. Like, come on now. Come on. But yeah, it was six people at this point. Group activities. Thank goodness, 
on this trip, everybody was with the ish. Everybody was willing to try new things, do new things together. But most people who are planning a trip, they, someone will say, I don't want to wet my wig. Someone will say, oh, I don't want to jet ski. I'm scared of the water. Someone will say, oh, I don't want to do this. It's a trip. We're here to have fun. We're here to experience things. Like, what do you mean? Okay? Someone will say, oh, I feel like sleeping in. We went out last night. We, I don't want to go to brunch. Like, it will always be some type of excuse. Okay? Overall, the experience I got from planning this group trip was that it is super, super tiring and stressful. Like, you are more tired planning the trip than you are while you are actually at the trip. It's just crazy. I just think that, um... We should normalize, you know, doing nice things and enjoying nice things because I feel like we work hard for our money and we need to enjoy it, you know? What is $500 if you can spend over $2,000 at the club? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just feel like, you know, us black people need to really value enjoyment, okay? We need to have fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have already planned a trip before with black people and how it went. Because if you have planned a trip with black people and it went great, you have great people around you. Like, I'm really, really, really happy for you. So, for my trip, it ended up being five of us. My cousin, my sister, my husband, me, and my cousin's man. That was it. Five of us, like I said, planning a trip with black people. Whoo! the stress overall i was actually really happy that only five of us went to this trip because we really really had a good time and everybody was with the issue didn't have anyone complaining about not wanting to do this and do that and i feel like if it was more people we would have had issues with people not wanting to do certain things you know like activities and brunch and stuff like that so i truly appreciate all of you guys that showed up to my birthday trip it was amazing i had so much fun so shout out to you guys you guys know yourself audrey ariel Hernandez, jordan you guys no thank you so much thank you so 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 much for being there for me and celebrating my 25th birthday it means the world to me once again shout out to you guys i appreciate you guys so 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 much so yeah it's more memories right thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for your love and support don't forget to comment down below if you are anyone that you know has planned a group trip with black people and tell me how it went i really really want to know or if you are actually planning a trip right now as we speak also comment that down below and tell me how it's going let's chat in the comment section down below thank you so much once again for watching don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms the link are in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah happy birthday to me i celebrate my birthday the whole month of march so period all right bye guys